Well, this holiday travel season will look a lot different because of the pandemic. Some people can't imagine booking a trip. Others are taking the plunge. A chat with an avid traveler and get advice from an expert so you don't waste your money. From Italy to Iceland, even the cliffs of Moor in Ireland. Kathy Fassione of Rochester Hills loves to travel. She's not flown since February, but she's planning a fall trip to Wyoming. I'll have a a half day in Grand Teton, all day in Yellowstone. I have a chuck wagon dinner scheduled one night. Have you had anybody say, you're flying during a pandemic, what? Yeah, yeah, a few people think I'm crazy. They, they think it's too early. But she wears her mask and follows health and safety guidelines. Now she's ready to explore. What is the main thing people need to think about when they're booking? You need to understand completely what you're buying. Like, what are your, what is your ability to change this? What is your ability to get it refunded? Jill Jones is a travel concierge with Cadillac Travel in Southfield. Of all the airlines, Jones thinks Delta is doing the best job with cancellation policies, cleaning protocols, mask mandates, and social distancing. Delta just announced it's extending its policy of blocking middle seats and limiting the number of customers on every flight through January 6th of next year. And if you buy a ticket right now with Delta, Joan says you can change that without their normal $200 change fee or get a voucher that's good for almost two years. If you wait till November to decide to make your December reservations, you're probably not going to get what you want and you're going to pay a lot more than you need to. She says if you're hoping for some big COVID fire sale, that's not going to happen because airlines like Delta are blocking 30% of their inventory and eventually prices will go up. As for warm getaways this winter, Joan says places like Mexico, Aruba, Jamaica, and St. Lucia are open for now, but some may require a negative COVID-19 test. Anything on your radar for holiday travel? I'd like to take another trip around Christmas time just to get away and out of the cold. So the Red Rocks of Sedona may be calling for Kathy despite the coronavirus. Bottom line, Jill Jones says, understand what you're buying as well as the cancellation policies and monitor each tourist area's coronavirus situation. The U.S. Virgin Islands just closed to leisure travelers August 19th for at least one month to help contain the spread of the virus. Also, Hawaii will not reopen to tourists until at least October 1st due to a surge in positive cases there. So working with the travel agent who's tracking all of the reopening dates and revised entry requirements could be very helpful unless you got a lot of time on your hands and you can do it yourself.